30th and 31st. The NBC Television Network. <laughs> Not too young to try I tried it one way Now I'll try it another And it's not too late And I will soon discover The answer Looking for some answers Your heart be broken by the look in a lady's eye You might be younger but you'll soon be older And everybody sometimes needs a shoulder for some answers Looking for some answers To make your mouth water Red Lobster brings you our shrimp festival Make your spirits fly Eleven shrimp specials the way we know you love them Starting at six ninety-five. Make you flip with every tip of every shrimp you try From our sizzling shrimp scampi to shrimp and lobster To our huge shrimp feast Now at the shrimp festival Only at Red Lobster We know how you love seafood who has more big, beautiful almonds than any other popular chocolate bar? The new Mars bar. For the best things in life. One great little reward just got a little greater. Ooh. Alberto does it again. With my European studying hairspray. The ultra-fine mist sprays on evenly for super hold that won't let your styles go. New Alberto European hairspray with ultra-fine mist. For new super hold. Chopin. Oh, I missed the note. What, you're playing it? Yeah, it was a couple years ago. I'm oh, much better now. You gotta be kidding. That sounds beautiful. I'm glad you're playing it. Well, you know, I'm playing it mostly because of the fish. You know, ever since I started playing it, they uh, they seem much, much happier. <laughs> Come on. The fishing it is? <laughs> yeah. You know, scientists used to believe that fish were deaf. And then they found this inner ear. And now we just have to watch what we say. How'd you learn so much? I don't know. I just, uh... Soak up things. My dad says I'm like a sponge. Yeah, well, my dad said I was a sponge too, but I think he meant it different than your father. <laughs> Come on, Nick, you know lots of things. I'm okay, you know, you have trouble with an amphibious vehicle, I'm your guy. <laughs> but this kind of stuff uh, is sort of out of my league. Well, no big deal, no big deal. Just, uh, just listen a little bit more. Yeah, after 20 years of bugles, this is a pretty big adjustment. I'll see you after class. Okay. cycle the male anglerfish attaches himself to the female by sinking his teeth into her side now as the female grows the male is gradually enveloped by her flesh until he finally appears as an insignificant bump on the female side it's just like my uncle bob <laughs> well that finishes our discussion of the anglerfish miss gaston class isn't over yet oh i thought we only covered one fish per day <laughs> Let's stretch ourselves. <laughs> now, I have something very exciting to show you. I was going to save this for tomorrow, but it's something I have to share with you. Ladies and gentlemen, Luna Plumieri, the Great Lakes Dancer Fish. Wow! Holy cow! You're a good audience, Mr. Wiggins. 
This is an extremely rare species. In all of North America, there is only one other dancer fish in captivity. Not anymore. What's that, Wiggins? Well, the one at the New Hampshire Aquarium, you know, passed away. I didn't know that. <laughs> it was everywhere. The Oceanography Journal, the Berkeley Review of Ichthyology. I don't know how you guys missed it. <laughs> well, they probably didn't care for the fish properly. Dr. Lundwin, they've tried to keep other dancer fish in captivity. You know, they all just seem to die within a couple weeks. Well, don't worry. This specimen is under my care. So, class, the fish was caught yesterday in Lake Michigan. Dr. Ludwin, can we please talk some more about how this fish is probably going to die in a couple weeks? I mean, the class is real upset about it. <laughs> right, guys? Uh, hey, they're ready to march. So, uh, that'll be it for today. For the next class, I would like you all to read Chapter 21 on reef fishes. Dr. Ludwin. Mr. Wiggins, the subject is closed. Come on, you gotta let him go. Look, this fish is gonna die. Look, this isn't a pet, it's a specimen. Where would we all be if Dr. Louis Pasteur fell in love with his bacteria? God, that's a disgusting thought. <laughs> Dr. Ludwin. To be sure to shut out the lights when you leave. Would you rather go out with a girl who's openly affectionate in public and cold when you get her alone? Or one who's cold in public but turns into an animal when you're alone? So where's the question? <laughs> I'd go for openly affectionate in public. Really? I don't care if I'm getting it on, as long as everybody thinks I am. <laughs> yeah, we could pick up a date's about seven. Great. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Cut it out. Bingo! Okay, guys, this is fun, but enough's enough. What are you gonna do, Sheldon? Uh, turn the other cheek? Turn the other cheek. Those guys made me look pretty wimpy, right? What guys? Didn't you just see those two guys humiliate me? I didn't see anything. I did. <laughs> he was totally degraded. Thanks for filling him in. Everyone considered him the coward of the county. He never stood one single time to prove the county, prove the county, prove the county wrong, wrong, wrong. Look, look, it's not just you, Sheldon, it's the human condition. We're born, we live in fear, and we die. That's why life's such a hoot. Nick, something terrible's gonna happen. What? What is it? Well, over at the science building, they have this fish, and it's gonna be dead in a couple weeks. Don't worry about it. They'll flush it. <laughs> Come on, Nick, it's not right. It's murder. Wait, let me get this straight. You're talking about a fish here, right? Right. You mean every time I reach for a Mrs. Paul, I'm committing a felony? Come on, Nick, this fish is special. It's one of the rarest fishes in the world. No, kid, you're overreacting. Nick, please just come take a look at it. Right now? Yes. Uh, you said I got two weeks to, to go? Maybe I can visit it when it lapses into a coma. Come on, Nick, this is important. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll think about it. You gonna sit here and watch me think? I don't have another class for two hours. You mean to tell me you want me to go eyeball to eyeball with some fish? I just want someone to understand how I feel, that's all. Kid, you fight dirty. Let's go. Here he is, Nick. Oh. The Great Lakes dancer fish. He looks like he ate a bad clam. Come on, Nick, look at him. Okay. Really look at him. Okay, what are you thinking? Truthfully, I'm hoping that's not a reflection. Come on, Nick. Isn't he fascinating? You know, there is something about him. Kind of like a, a nobility. That's right. 
You know, it's it's nice to watch his fins ripple like that, back and forth, back and forth. Hey, you know, I read a study on that once. It said that when people watch fish, their blood pressure actually drops. Sort of like nature's tranquilizer? <laughs> Can he see me? Yeah, but not the same way you see him. See, to him, you just probably look like a big lump. Uh, a very handsome big lump. Yeah. What are you doing, kid? I want to find out how old he is. Whoa, does that hurt him? No, it's like if I pluck the hair out of your head. Hey, don't even think about it. <laughs> wow! Let me see. Let me see. Wow. <laughs> what am I looking at? Well, you know how you find out how old the tree is by looking at its rings? Yeah, yeah. Well, fish scales have rings just like that. Oh, I can't believe this. What? Nick, this fish is 168 years old. Get it, you're kidding me. He looks good for his age. <laughs> Think about it. This fish is older than any man alive. Jeez, he's four times me. I feel young again. <laughs> He, he, he was swimming around when Beethoven was alive. <laughs> you know, this guy's seen everything. Civil War, World War I, the big two, Korea, Nam, even a little piece. Everything from covered wagons to rocket ships. He's a real survivor, Nick. He's one tough fish. He could be a Marine. <laughs> yeah, but too bad he's going to be dead in a few weeks. Come on, let's go before Dr. Ludwig comes back. Hey, 168 years old. And look at him. He moves around like a fish half his age. <laughs> Are you going out for the swimming team this year? Are you kidding? Chlorine ruins my hair. Not do. Do fish think? Not like humans, but they do have brains, yes. Oh, so there's some thought going through those little fish heads. I guess so. Let's take a flounder. Would a flounder say, hey, how come both my eyes are on one side of my head? Yeah, that's possible. Well, if it was me, I'd wonder. What, if I came back tomorrow, would the fish recognize me? I don't think so, Nick. You only met you one time. But I did see some intelligence in those eyes. Like he was thinking, who the hell is this guy? Yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. What am I doing? We're talking about a fish here. Yeah, yeah, but a great fish. Matthew. Oh, I'm studying, Mommy. I'm studying. Never mind. Now. I gotta talk to you, kid. What is it, Nick? They, these guys won't let me sleep. <laughs> what are you talking about? We got work to do, kid. We gotta save the fish. Yeah. You mean it? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Oh, wow, does that pizza smell good? My nose wouldn't know it's too stuffed. Have a Halls. Halls Vapor Action penetrates deep to help your stuffy nose feel clearer while Halls soothes your cough. Halls Vapor Action works. Now let's work on some pizza. Just the two of us. That great dentine taste makes it nicer to be together because not even mouthwash can freshen your breath better than when you're chewing dentine. Just the two of us, you and I. Eddie, this is Mrs. Butterworth. Hello, Eddie. I love your syrup. I need two syrups, regular and large. 
right. Mrs. Butterworth. And they're both delicious because... Because they're thick and rich and buttery. She really talks better than you. Mrs. Butterworth is twice as thick as maple syrup, so it pours slower. And it's made with grade A butter. Mrs. Butterworth's regular and light. <laughs> Annie, are you sleeping again? Nope. I'm watching Magnum again. <laughs> when it comes to action and adventure, come home to Tom Selleck. Come home to Magnum on Channel 12. We got a one pepperoni with anchovies. Watch, what are you doing? I'm watching Magnum. He's smooth. He's sexy. He's hot. Lady! You want to watch your machine as soon as I'm done watching Magnum. Come home to Tom Selleck. Come home to Magnum. Weekdays at 5. Come home to Channel 12. Let's see. Blue River Motors. Executive car rental. Quality automobile leasing. Rent the wreck. That's us. <laughs> We pick up the van, get the fish, and we're on our way to Lake Michigan. You know, maybe taking the fish isn't such a good idea. I mean, you know, now that I think about it, this is a lot like stealing. No, it's not. This is stealing. <laughs> well, you know, what Dr. Ludwin's doing is a lot like murder. I mean, he knows that fish is gonna die. So, so what's worse, murder or stealing? Worst thing is to be murdered while you're stealing. <laughs> Well, maybe we should just go through proper channels. Start a petition or something. Oh, great. How long did you say that fish has to live? Uh, a month, maybe two weeks. By the time you gather all your signatures, the, it'll be too late. What should I do, Nick? I can't tell you what to do, kid. Of course you can. Nick, I'm very impressionable. <laughs> you gotta make up your own mind. All I know is sometimes you can afford to play by the rules, and sometimes you can't, kid. Let's go for it. Hello, men. Sheldon Paxton reporting for duty. What's with the camouflage makeup? This way I'll blend in with the bushes. Sheldon, we're gonna be in a hallway. You'd be better off painting a light switch on your cheek. Sheldon, maybe you should just stay here. Not tonight. For the first time in my life, I feel like I've got the right stuff. Just came in the wrong package. We really need these guys. Yeah, we need four guys to carry the tank. It's got to weigh a ton. Okay, wait, let me, let me figure this out. Okay, it's a 25-gallon tank. Fresh water weighs 8.33 pounds per gallon. Plus the fish, plus the tank. It's going to weigh 240 pounds. Can't we just wrap the fish in a newspaper or something? <laughs> <laughs> Relax, that's why we got the four of us, okay? Let's move out. Wait a minute, Nick. What now? What's the plan? The plan? We walk in, we get the fish, we walk out. It's brilliant in its simplicity. Sheldon, can you keep quiet, please? I'd like to do that, Nick, but I gotta be me. This is gonna be a long night. Where's Sheldon? <gasps> Sheldon, what's with the wheezing? It's all right. It's just that when I get scared, I have trouble breathing, that's all. There's nothing to be scared about. Easy, easy. That's right, you're fine. Okay, you're not scared? Was that guard armed? <gasps> <gasps> They're not armed. It's kind of creepy in here. 
<laughs> it ain't creepy here. It's a regular classroom. Look, hearts. <laughs> Some kidneys. Oh, a few eyeballs. <laughs> Get out of here. Sheldon, you can't leave now. We're going to get caught. I know We're not going to get caught. Yes, we are. Why are we going to get caught? Because I always get caught. <laughs> We're going to get kicked out of school for this. My whole life just flashed right before my eyes. That quick? Guys, I'm only 14. <laughs> this is the biggest mistake I've ever made. Oh, man, are you guys finished feeling sorry for yourselves? No, I think we can squeeze out a few more minutes. <laughs> Hey, somebody's coming. I think there's three of them. We're never gonna save that fish now. Hey, I can't believe you guys are caving in. You know, you got a poor fish banging his head against a glass cage trying to get home to the Great Lakes. That was beautiful, Nick. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Sheldon, there's a second of time when you run or you stay and do what has to be done. How's a guy like me gonna do it? Has to be done. Okay, an old sergeant's trick. Whatever you want to do, think it through in your mind, and it'll happen, kid. If that was true, I wouldn't be a virgin. <laughs> I'm gonna create a diversion. I'm gonna make the guards see me. When they chase after me, you guys go and rescue the fish. Wait, Nick. Don't Marines usually draw straws to see who goes? Yeah, let's draw straws. You got any straws? Nobody told me to bring any straws. You got everything else in your hand. Okay, there's no straws. No straws. Okay, uh, you want to do one potato, two potato, three potato, four? Oh, I'm going to go. Okay, guys? Nick. What? Nick, it's up to me now. You? When I was standing there, I was doing a gut check. And I decided I don't want to spend the rest of my life running away from guys who flick towels at me. So I'm going to go out there and do what has to be done. What has to be done again? <laughs> Create a diversion. I'm your man. Over here! I'm a vandal! I'm a vandal! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I'm really proud of Sheldon. Yeah, you really did have the right stuff. Yeah, now it's our turn. Can't we just bask in Sheldon's glory? <laughs> Come on, let's rescue a fish. Hey, pal. You probably can't understand me, but I'm gonna set you free. After everything you lived through, you should be allowed to live out your life. You shouldn't have to die in some lousy tank. And I shouldn't be talking to a fish. There's supposed to be four of us. <laughs> you ever think of going on a diet, buddy? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I hope you appreciate this. Woo! Yeah, All right. We did it! I can't believe we did it! Hey, you know, you're a real hero, Sheldon. <laughs> he knows. Hang in there, fish. In an hour, you're going to be in Lake Michigan. <laughs> All right. I, I feel yeah. great. Woo! Yeah. All right. All right. Nick? What? Do you think we did something great? What is great? You tell the average fellow in the street, hey, I just rescued a fish. Maybe he says that was great. Maybe he says, hey, I think you bought a ticket to the funny farm. <laughs> What's that fish gonna do now that he's back in the lake? Um, swim around. He's gonna forage for food. Mate? Mate? 
At his age? I'm impressed. Actually, the dancer fish mates for its life. No kidding. I thought only Italians did that. Well, their mating ritual is actually very interesting. You see, the male waits for nightfall before he approaches the female. Then he makes these exaggerated movements with his tail and circles her. And if she accepts him, well, then they go off side by side, mimicking each other's movements. It's like a beautiful, beautiful dance in the moonlight. Kid, maybe we did something great. Well, it's a marvelous night for a moon dance With the stars up above in your eyes A fantabulous night to make romance Neat the cover of October skies You know all the leaves on the trees are falling too Sometimes your skin gets so dry you can scratch the word dry right on your hand. And the drier your skin, the more you need Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion. It soothes and starts healing dry skin on contact. That's today's Vaseline Intensive Care. Gina! Gina! There's nothing like coming home to the homemade taste of spaghetti with delicious ragu sauce. Miss me? It's delicious. It's great to be home. Ragu spaghetti sauce. That's Italian. And now some typical consumer reaction to an exciting Pizza Hut offer. Yabba, dabba, do. Yabba, dabba, do. That's right. It's Flintstone Kids glasses. Freddy, Betty, Wilma, and Barney. Just 49 cents with any Pizza Hut pizza. There's a different glass every week, so you can collect all four for your kids. What do you say to that? Yabba, dabba, do. <laughs> Flintstone Kids glasses. Only at Pizza Hut. Tonight on the Hot Miami Vice, a federal agent's gone wrong to save her son's life. And Crockett's in the middle. Guest star Elizabeth Ashley's turning on the heat on Miami Vice. Then on Stingray, it's a deadly war game when a kid is set up by the military. Can they get away with murder? Not if Stingray has anything to do with it tonight on NBC.